Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a new low profile keyboard from Marvo. Now I recently reviewed my first Marvo keyboard ever, it was Monka Marvo. I believe they're either the same company or sister companies but they seem to do a lot of keyboards together. So today we're taking a look at the Marvo Tech Color Reco A75. Now it is three mode, it is RGB, it has a removable, replaceable battery, so we'll have to see about that, but it's basically, it calls itself an 80%, but that's a 75% compact layout, where we do have actually the F12 plus the F13, or delete key, depends on what you call it, along with the um, knob. It actually has a very similar layout as the K75 Pro from them that I took a look at not too long ago. But I've got to say, I've been itching to get in here and see what this low profile has to offer. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we got. As always, I do like to check what's in here before we take a look at the keyboard. It looks like we have a nice layout card and yep, it has uh, brief user instructions. It looks like in two languages how to adjust the lights, connectivity, uh, what the indicators mean, and how to get battery levels. Very nice. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable that has a tail attached to it, so we can keep it nice and neat. We have your standard wire, switch, and keycap puller. We have what looks like to be alternate keys, probably, well, because it has, well, caps lock below one, and option alt below another one. We'll have to see once we get to the keyboard. And as promised, we have a removable battery, which there's the contact points obviously for it, but we have a USB-C port on there. So we can actually, um, in essence, buy another battery and have one charging. So we can actually have a couple of batteries available on us. Just for some reason, we plan to be wireless for a while. We're working in a server room, moving around from you know, server to server, what have you. That's actually pretty cool. I gotta say, that's definitely the first time I've seen that. Now I must say, I, I, I love this. It's like in a, it feels like a very soft, um, like a fake fur, but kind of like the material that a certain, um, bottle of out liquor comes in i can't recall the name it's purple and gold but it's very soft very nice it has pull strings but i mean this is definitely i mean it obviously it's not going to protect it from like you know something hard but it's definitely going to protect it from like scratches maybe keys popping off because of something in your bag i gotta say i really like that that bag it's it's super soft like it's it's soft added bonus probably does a little cleanup <laughs> every time you slide it in and slide it out so open it up we take a look obviously we see a colorway that some of us might consider familiar uh, we have a knob over here on the top even though it is recessed it has some nice little grooves along the perimeter of it so we um, has no, I have no issue moving it, even from my finger from the top, it moves just nicely. So we've got our delete key here, and we have a very sensible home and end, page up, page down, um, already set up really nicely, and just... Now, the other <laughs> low profile I was talking about did not sound anywhere near as good as this one does. And this one's cheaper. Now, granted, that one has an aluminum piece, but I don't think there's really anything of loss here. Now, all right, so it looks like there is no battery in there. Oh, no, there is a battery. We've got an extra battery. Oh, wow. That is just, uh, I don't know. That's, that's pretty cool. So we can literally plug this in. If our battery is running low, no worries. We don't need to plug into USB. 
We've got spare batteries. That is really cool. Now these feet, are these magnetic? Uh, I don't have much fingernail, so I will need some assistance here. Okay, pop them up. Oh, I can not only get different angles here, but I have a pocket for my 2.4 receiver. Very nice. Now, if I had some nails, this wouldn't be an issue. And thankfully, it is marked Color Reco. So it's the model series, but it's still good enough that it's going to be easy to find what this goes to. But it looks like we have different feet here, so we can flip them out to different combinations. All right, that's the taller foot, so we can do the same over here. Just flip it over, and we've got magnets taken care of. Yeah, so we can get two different angles. Real nice. I mean, if we're wireless already, it doesn't really matter that we don't have space for the 2.4 if that's what we're using. But I've got to say, I really must say I enjoy that design. Um, leave it there at the lower level. I'm curious what the angle. I'll we'll leave it there on the lowest level. I'm curious the angles that this provides off the bat. But we can see that we have our connection and OS mode switches on the side of the USB port on the back. We have a very simple wedge design that looks nice. Color Reco, like I said, the series name for this model. And we have a spare battery. That's just, I don't know. I. <laughs> can't believe nobody's thought about that like seriously why not just make it easy to pop them in and out you have several batteries it just makes sense just makes all the sense in the world to be quite honest now let's see what it looks like when we plug it in whoa instant on we have a light with the knob let's see so it looks like we can change the effect behind the knob as well as changing the effects for the keyboard and I'll have to look back at the manual oh no that's for that's not for it but I've got to say this keyboard honestly I'm amazed at how lovely this low profile keyboard sounds I mean what magic did they do because this is I I can say unequivocally without feeling like I'll be corrected that as far as low profile keyboards go, this is the best sounding and feeling low, low profile keyboard I've come across yet. And I've, I've done quite a number of low profile. I, there's many out there I haven't done. Don't get me wrong, I haven't done them all, but I've done quite a few. And this one by far surpasses anything else I've seen. Honestly, it's just the feature set, the way it sounds, the way it feels, it has just amount just the right amount of flex. It turns on immediately. It has an extra battery. It has a knob, which I love. I'm kind of just <laughs> kind of surprised I did not come up with this keyboard sooner. That there, I just, I, this is, I, I will say it right now. This is going to become my travel board. This is the bat, the truck, the, this is the keyboard that will be going into my sack whenever I go to do something technology related on the road because this is just I'm just I'm honestly blown away um, let's take a look at what we've got under these keycaps see if we can figure out some of the magic going on well we can see right off the bat that we do have um, a low profile hot swap switches and let me see if there's a brand on these Oh, these are kale. These are kale low profile switches. Well, go figure. So it looks like, yeah, we have clip mounted stabilizers. And we also have the hi fi layer with the PET plastic right above the PCB with the IXPE sheet above that. This is honestly, I gotta say, I'm not usually the biggest fan of kale switches, but this is the nicest low profile switch I've heard. I can unequivocally state that this is the best 
linear low profile switch that I've I've heard, I've felt, I've used. It sounds lovely and it actually comes up pretty easy. Low profile switches are not usually known for that. that space bar almost sounds like a ghost bar. Oh, you brought me the switch and everything, but it does have that backing there, even though it's not a double shot. They're using those double layers. Oh, and we see that we have both an update and a reset button here. Very nice very very nice indeed but this is significantly impressing me this is a very nice keyboard and i'm honestly just kind of surprised it took me that long to get to this this is uh this is what i feel is a low pro a good low profile keyboard and it's stocky a low profile keyboard that's stocky i i just Honestly, I was of the opinion that just didn't exist. That just didn't exist. But this is... It's, it's lovely. You guys, you, you did it. This is, this is the uh, low-profile keyboard to be. It really is. Because the, from the way it sounds, the way it feels, the extra battery to the knob, to just everything about it. even got a caps lock indicator on here the only thing that would would make this literally jump over a whole bunch of even just regular profile keyboards if it if it had qmk in it but i'm just pretty sure the software is going to be fairly intuitive as it was for the other for the a75 pro let's take a look at this is the a75 Guys got to stop using similar or the same model numbers. They get confusing. <laughs> Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the Marvo Colorreco A75. It is a low profile, 75% re mode with removable battery and QMK via. It has a gasket mounted flex cut PC plate, north facing low profile hot swap PCB with hi-fi layers. It is preloaded with kale, white, peach, linear, low profile switches, and top double shot PBT, low profile keycaps. The battery capacity on this keyboard is 3000 milliamp hours, but it includes a removable battery of also 3000 milliamp hours, so you could always have one charged. The weight of this keyboard with the battery inserted is 724 grams. The chin of this keyboard sits at 19 and a half millimeters off the typing surface, while the back sits at 30 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of seven degrees. Flipping out and exchanging the magnetic feet will take the back height to 32 millimeters and change your angle of typing to eight degrees. The MSRP of this keyboard is $95.90 on Marvo's website. Links below. Well, recall earlier when I said the only thing that would make this keyboard perfect is for it to be QMK VIA. Well, guess what? It is QMK VIA. Now, I've got the VIA file and I'll put a link down below. I'm still waiting for QMK source, um, but as soon as I have a link, I will add that to the description. Um, it does have QMK bottom. I was, uh, uh, the rep that I've been working with sent me out a, the firmware. They're all the already, uh, the QMK toolbox, basically installation, but not the source control. So I'll, as soon as I get a link to the repository for the source control, I will share that. So, but the via file works. It has four layers, um, it has all the ability. You know, I tested using Argent stone cutters um, trick to basically just make uh, tab. You know, if you tap it, it's tab. But if you hold it, it's a function switch uh, key. And it, it does have that ability. So it is built on top of QMK, not that fake via that some keyboards have that is actually built on whatever closed source software, but they're communicating using the via protocol. Now, this keyboard. Honestly, this is this is my new Road Warrior. Um, my Air 60, uh, not the V2, the V1. I recently had to throw out the battery because it was swelling. Um, 
this, I don't have to worry about that. Now this, I wish more keyboards in general would do this because if you're gonna be wireless, not only can you include two batteries, it makes it much easier, less wires, but I mean, if the battery starts to swell, well then just throw it, you know, well, not chuck it in the garbage, but take it to the proper disposal facility and switch out the battery. No having to worry about a spicy pillow incident. But not only that, it is very nicely designed. It's laid out just like I like it. It has a caps lock light indicator. It's QMK via, so I can make changes to it from Linux without any issues. Um, it has a knob, which is also controllable. Um, it, it's just, it meets so many things. And then on top of that, even if this even even if this keyboard did not sound good, I'd still say this is a nice keyboard. And I can definitely say 100% that this is better than anything Nufi can make. Um, this is the, I would choose this over the air every single day of the week. Um, it is a solid keyboard that not only does it meet like all the requirements for a low profile for me, which I've never really found because the things that I wanted just weren't there. And I never thought I'd see replaceable batteries. So I didn't even, I failed to even really just add it to my list because I thought that's just not gonna happen. Um, and here, here I am. It basically meets all of my needs for a low profile. Now the chin is a little bit high, so I'm still going to use a wrist rest, but it sits perfectly over my laptop. Um, now, it, I guess the, uh, that little bit of change in clearance is just so that it can sit on different laptops, I'm guessing, um, because that's not much of a change, only a couple couple of millimeters of height and just one degree of typing difference. But I like it stock as it is. Um, I like that it has a pocket for the 2.4. I like the keycaps, and I don't know what colorway this is. I know that, well, the first time I can recall seeing it is Newfie, but... It could have been, you know, copied off another one, but I do like it and I love how it sounds. Not for nothing, but this keyboard actually sounds better than some of the standard profile keyboards of this year. Not all of them, mind you, but this is certainly the best low profile keyboard stock sound that I've heard, period, hands down. Um, I, I've reviewed a few low profiles, but because... Like I said, I haven't really been able to meet my list of requirements that are all here. I mean, I got the knob, I got QMK via. I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I've got, I mean, like I said, I've got a spare battery. So in essence, I basically have 6,000 milliamp hours. So run those RGBs. I don't care. I've got the spare battery. And it's slim enough. It's small enough that, I mean, it's just going to slip right into my backpack and I'm good to go. I, <laughs> this is, this is my new on the go workhorse. I reviewed a few low profile keyboards and they've always left me wanting more. And when I accepted to review this one, I was like, well, you know, at least I'll, I'll keep up, you know, with what's out there. Low profile. I, I had no expectations and now I have a keyboard that uh, in between filming, I've actually been using it at my desk. Now I'm using it not on my drawer, but actually on my desktop. And cause I just love how it sounds. And I've gotten I'm like, wife, wife, come here, listen to this. And she's like, isn't that one of those low profiles? I'm like, yeah, but listen now, it sounds just like, why does it sound like a regular keyboard? <laughs> cause she, I mean, she doesn't, she knows brands and she knows certain keywords, but she's by no means a, an enthusiast. But I think she has just kind of learned through osmosis from being around me for so long. But anyway, I can say that this is my low profile keyboard and what I can recommend to anybody. Because, I mean, even even if you do use a full size or a TKL, I mean, yes, you don't have the numpad. But if you're on the go and it's something just to sit on top of your laptop, yeah, why not? Um, if you're going to enter in some numbers, well, but other than 
that numpad feature, you've got everything that you need here. You can remap these keys as you'd like. Um, obviously, you know, I'll have to check. I know I have a set of XVX low profile keycaps. And when I come back to this, because I do want to open it up, check it out, maybe do a tape mod. Um, and I wanted to check because I do believe I may have some low profile switches with the spacing, but I'm not sure. I know I tried the Gatorons, but the, they're completely spaced. It. They're, they're in a different corner, actually. So um, I'm going to see about, you know, modding this maybe and having a little bit of fun with it and seeing what it's like on the inside. It has just enough of a flex that it's, I mean, it's actually a lot flexier than some standard profile keyboards. It's almost got that perfect tone for me. It really almost does. I mean, honestly, if I don't ever get the chance to mod it, <clears throat> I'll still be very happy with the way that it sounds, it feels, and I got a spare battery and it's got a USB-C port. So if I need to charge this while I'm using this, I can do that. <laughs> I just, I mean, I, this, this isn't, it's not like, you know, this technology is, is new or something difficult to do. Heck, I, I, I can barely get around a PCB tool, but I could probably design me something, you know, like this. I mean, it basically probably just has a very basic, uh, USB-C port probably already attached with the uh, voltage regulator on there. And like I said, it's just, it, it's a battery uh, on its own. So I can, you know, oh, running out of juice. All right, no problem. Just pop these off. So I can just pop off the battery. Make sure yeah, that's the way it goes. Oh, looks like it goes this way. Yeah, all right, so those tabs go on first. And then that locks into place. So this isn't holding it really. It's just um, just there to kind of hide it more so. Oh, am I doing it backward? Yes, yes I am. All right. Of course, the uh, power switch mode switches are here on the side. I don't know if this battery is charged or not. So this is from Marvo Monka and Color Rico. Now I have reviewed a Marvo Monka keyboard before. Um, it's actually one of the ones that I'm including in the, the list. I'm, the video I'm working on right now, it's, I've already filmed some, but it's going to take me a, a little while. I'm trying to get everything as apples to apples as possible. But um, the, uh, I want to say it was called the A75 Pro as well. This one's A75. I don't think it's pro, but I've seen it listed as S75 too on their site. So I'm unsure, but I'll double check when I'm communicating with them about QMK. So I'll update the video description as I get more information. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed reviewing this keyboard and I love that I now have a low profile keyboard that not only can I use, but I can recommend. This is now a low profile keyboard that I, that I have, I'm going to use. And I would highly recommend if somebody is looking for a low profile, especially, you know, with the function row, with the arrow keys, with the navigation column in a compact um, format with even the delete key and a knob. I mean, it's just, so, I mean, one of the most popular layouts, or at least as of late, 75%, one of the po most popular features, a knob, and something you rarely, rarely see, an extra battery, and, and replaceable, user-replaceable, toolless, user-replaceable battery. And on top of that, it sounds good to boot. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, sign me up. Like, I mean, I think they, they have this in black, I believe. Uh, yeah, black with... Um, the key caps are like a dark Olivia, like a pink and a black. Uh, I think I'm going to pick one up and just to, just to have a spare. Uh, that's how much I like this keyboard. It is now my low profile keyboard, my road warrior keyboard. Um, I like the key caps. I'll have them on there for a while, but I'll probably at some point probably look to see about maybe some kale low profile 
tactile switches and maybe some xvx low profile keycaps i don't know i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what i what i do but for right now i i just i love it anyway i'm gonna leave you guys with a stock sound test of this color rico marvo a75 s75 low profile 75 percent three mode with a knob removable battery qmk via um i'll leave a link to the via file that i have down below and like i said as soon as i get a qmk repo i'll put that all, as well in the video description I'll, I'll come back and update it even if it takes weeks i don't care um, i want to make sure that you guys have links to it uh, this i'm going to go ahead because he sent it to me by email so I'll, i usually share my links on dropbox so it links to dropbox are ones usually that i've gotten i've always run it through um anti-virus scanner and then i upload it to dropbox and that's where i share from anyway i'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of this lovely low profile keyboard we took a look at that today i do hope that you enjoyed my review if you have any questions comments suggestions please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below i do my best to answer all comments as soon as possible hitting the thumbs up hitting the subscribe does go a long way Anyway, to everybody out there in YouTube land, I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.